What's up Just Foodies? We are in Riyadh, capital city of Saudi Arabia and today we are going on an insane food tour. So today we are going to be tucking into some traditional Saudi food, a Saudi breakfast, shawarma, obviously some burgers and much much more. So make sure to watch it all the way to the end so you can know exactly where you need to go when you're visiting Riyadh. Let's go baby. <laughs> So it's 9am, it's time for some breakfast and we're going to tuck into a traditional Saudi breakfast. Now we've come to this spot, I'll drop the description below exactly what you need to know about it. Let's go inside and have a look. So this is the first dish of the day. This is the liver, they cook it over on the hot plate. Just with a bit of oil, they get a really nice sear and char on it and then they also serve it with the onions, peppers, tomatoes and some big pieces of chilli in there which I'm really interested to try. They also serve this soup here, which is complimentary soup, got some bay leaves in there. It also looks like it's got some intestine in there. And this <laughs> is some of their bread as well. It's quite thick, quite rustic. I want to try some of this soup. They've cooked it with loads and loads of cinnamon in there. It's really what kind of a fragrant soup with like a porridge oaty kind of texture to it. And then the tripe in there is actually really soft and tender. Okay, now we're going in for the real deal, in for the liver. Get a couple of pieces of the liver in there. I want to get some of the chilies, onions, try with some of this bread. Saudi breakfast, first one, here we go. That is actually really tasty. I'm not usually the biggest liver fan, you know that it's got that really strong liver flavour that can kind of overpower your entire mouth. That's not, that's actually much more milder, really kind of smoky cooked on the griddle. And this one here, I'm assuming this is the camel liver, this is the lambs. Cooked in the same way on that griddle. Let's get this while it's hot. That has more of like a chewy, bouncier kind of texture to it. This one's kind of soft and more mild. This one's definitely got more of that liver flavor. Definitely a little bit chewier and firmer. The key for this place when you're visiting, get some of this homemade chili sauce, put it on with the bread. Game changer, really is a game changer. Yeah, that's class. All right, let me tuck into a bit more of this and then we'll go on to the next one. But now it's time to tuck into something a little different, our favorite dish, shawarma. Now this place is the number one spot, the OG shawarma spot. I had to come here. You know it, you love it. It's Mama Nora. Let's go. Got the order. It's shawarma time. That looks incredible. Okay, so this is what we come for, the famous Mama Nora Shawarma. That is a serious operation. The guy is flinging and packing them so quickly. They've also got the chicken on a real quick rotisserie. It's the smaller side, just on that Arabic bread. Let's have a look inside. They've just got that chicken, a few fries in there. The thing that was really stands out is the tomb, the garlic sauce. They were spreading it like butter onto the plate. It looks and smells incredible. All right, enough, Alex, eat it. It's a good shawarma, brother. Oh, yeah. It's not overly, it's not really, really garlicky, not pungent, just like mellow. Compliments to chicken, lovely. And that, like, sarge bread, normally that Arabic bread, is a bit dry and crusty. This is, like, soft and doughy. My friend said he eats about six of these. I can see why. I'm already tempted to get up and have another one. And they also do loads of manakees and breads and things like that. I feel like we need to order some more food. We might have to order some more. Famous Arabic hot sauce on there. Hot sauce makes everything better. That is class. Had to go back in for seconds. This is the medium shawarma plate. That is a seriously generous portion of shawarma. So this is the tomb I was talking about. It's literally like butter. Spread some of that on. Grab some of the pickles. Bit of the hot sauce. Round two. This is the muscle visit, Riyadh. Coming here for the first time, you have to come to Mamanora. Get the plate. I think that's the way I actually prefer the plate to the wrap. Bang. So from one of the oldest food establishments to one that is relatively new but still making massive noise here in Riyadh, known for its smokehouse brisket and ribs, this is Smoky Beards. I cannot wait to tuck into this. Let's go get some meat, baby. Woo! So 
so this is what we've come for. So this is their rib and this is their brisket. Now the rib, they've got three different types. So they've got American, one other, and the Australian, depending on the fat content that you want, making it more juicy and tender. And then they also price it by weight. So they cut off a slice, and depending on how much you want to spend, how big a portion you want, then they'll obviously divide it up. The brisket is just done by slices. So you either get like a half pound or a pound. This is a half pound, so it's two slices, 226 grams. Little bit on the pricey side, this is a 250 dirhams for both of those, but I mean, it's a pretty big portion. I don't know what to start first. I think I've just got to go in for the brisket. I want to get some of the fatty side. All right. Sometimes with brisket, you know you get the top and the flank, and one of them is like really, really fatty and juicy. And then the other part is normally a bit dry. That side is spot on, both of them. Both of them are actually really, really tender, really juicy. Nice smoky flavor on them. I also want to try this rib. Oh God, that is tender, look at that. That is just, just pulling apart. Really fatty rib. Try it in some of that barbecue sauce. Get the rib. <laughs> That is seriously good. That is smoky, salty, fatty. So tender, melted. It's just like butter in your mouth. Little on the price end, but I say that is worth it. That is actually seriously, seriously good. Well, that was absolutely insane. I'm already stuffed. But before we tuck into our traditional Saudi dinner, there's one more spot that I wanted to hit. Also known for its smoked meat and its brisket, but that's not what we're coming for. Apparently it does one of the best burgers in Saudi. And I couldn't resist coming to Riyadh without trying some of the burgers that you guys have to offer. So we are at Chef Smokehouse. Let's go. So this here is the Mabel R Burger, their best-selling burger. So this is rib meat, two wacky patties, mozzarella cheese fried. It's then got maple sauce, chef sauce, and smoked cherry sauce on it with a piece of cheddar cheese. Have a look at that. Jesus, that's a messy one. Now they had an unusual cooking method. They done like a reverse sear, so they kind of smashed the patty, they kind of broiled it on the grill, and then put it on a hotter side of the grill, grill to get it crispier. They then stacked it all up, steamed it with the bun, homemade bun, there it is. It's a big old burger. I'm wondering what it's gonna say, and I'm hoping it's not gonna be too rich. It's a lot of cheese on there. Let's just go in and try it. That is a heavy, heavy old burger. It's fatty, it's meaty, it's cheesy. The thing that doesn't work for me is the fried mozzarella. It's a bit too much, gives it like a chewy texture, and it's just a lot of extra stuff. The thing I do like is the maple and the smoked cherry sauce. That's really, really good, but it needs something to like cut through the fat a little bit. Something like a garlic aioli or something a bit lighter. After all the food I've had today, there is not enough space in my body and enough willpower to complete that burger. That is a heavy old cheat meal burger. Good quality but too much for me today. <laughs> when I asked you guys where I should visit in Riyadh, this was the number one recommendation. This is traditional Saudi restaurant where we get all the classic Saudi and Arabic food. You guys know it, you love it. Najdi Village. Let's go take a look inside, give you guys a tour. So I'm, I came here probably four years ago, back when I worked in sales. I used to fly to Saudi, pitch software to people. Coming back here now, seeing the outside, because I didn't sit outside last time, this is lovely. It reminds me of like Arabian Tea House or Al Khaimah in, uh, in old Dubai. But sitting outside, sitting on the floor, it's a lovely vibe. And we're going to tuck into some awesome, awesome Saudi food. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we decided for. I consulted with my Saudi friends, the chicken kabsa for main. Just drizzle a bit of that lemon on top. We've also got the red pepper salad, the yogurt salad and the traditional tower bread. Super, super aerated, like Yebani style bread. That is so, so soft. Okay, a bit of the red pepper salad. Go in with the rice. The star of the show is the chicken kabsa. The chicken is, normally with chickens, especially when you're roasting them, they kind of go a bit dry, especially on their leaner pieces. I just had a whole piece of chicken breast then. Really, really juicy and succulent. The rice is like fragrant and fruity. And I love that tomato salad, that red pepper salad. But I've heard from my Saudi friends, anything that you order from here, 
is going to be exceptional. I get adventurous on the menu, there's quite a lot of things, but come here with a group, we've had a lot of food today, so we're going to stick to a few key things. But if you come here, come with a group, order a lot, explore a little, and I guarantee you're going to absolutely love it. That main was absolutely delicious. We finished the whole thing despite how much we've eaten today, but obviously there's always room for dessert. Today is actually pancake day in the UK, which is a national, national holiday, national celebration. And it would, wouldn't be right to not get a dessert. So we've gone for the sweet sabib, which are whole wheat pancakes um, served with a syrup. There they are. There's actually a really generous portion. There's probably about hundred in here. I've not had these before. Let's see what they're saying. They're sweet, they're soft, they're doughy, they're guilty. And then they've just got a savory touch because they are naturally savory. They have the syrup to make it sweeter. So guys, if you've watched this far, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. There's more Riyadh food. Click here to watch the next video. And we're gonna be coming back to Riyadh soon. So drop your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next episode.